Boolean expressions and conditionals or if statement. The Boolean type. Expression of type Boolean can only have two values, true or false. True and false are reserved keywords in Java, which means these words can't be used as your identifier or your variable name. So that's the meaning of uh, reserved words. The following operators compare numerical values of type double or int and generate Boolean results. So we have the operator equal, greater than, lesser than. These are the meaning, equal, greater than, lesser than. Operator not equal is represented by the exclamation point and equal symbol. Greater than or equal to is uh, this symbol and less than or equal to is represented by this symbol. Let us have an example of a Boolean type um, variable. So we have... Uh, first, we'll be needing two variables to use in our comparison um, purposes. We have declared A and we assign the value 3.2 to A, defined as double. B is 4.0, defined also as double. And we have V1 as our Boolean and we initialize it with a value of a is lesser than 4.3. So it uh, evaluates now if A is lesser than 4.3. And the value of our V1 will be either true or false depending on this uh, statement. So if we are going to evaluate, is A lesser than 4.3, which is our A is 3.2, and it will give us a value of true because a is lesser than 4.3 and we will now display the results system.out.printf we first declare the string v1 equals and call now the format specifier of boolean which is percent b and uh, this percent b will be the value of your v1 whatever be the result of this uh, expression so the expression the result of this expression is true therefore the line v1 equals true will display it and then slash n that means it will jump to the next line so the next statement will be displayed right after the release of the value of v1 so our v2 is a equals b so we compare now if the value of a is equals to b and we put the result to v2 our value of a is 3.2 and our value of b is 4.0 therefore this statement is a false statement and therefore the value of our v2 is false so we have uh, we display the result again using that format um output format add output and uh, we call we, we use again the percent b as our format specifier so we have v2 equals and then call now the value of v2 variable by that of the percent uh, b and it will be placed on the percent b location then slash and for the next uh, display of output and again the value of our b2 v2 is false because a is obviously not equal to b which is but if you would like to display a true statement, then that would be the reverse type, which is we are going to use now the not equal symbol, which is the exclamation point, then equal it equal symbol. So we have is a 3.2, that's 3.2 equal to B. Then the result of this is um not equal to b then the result is true and the value of our v3 is true and we display the string v3 equal calling now the value of boolean v3 by that of the format specifier percent b so the result is um, true so let us try to see we'll run the program there you have v1 is true because of the statement, which is A is lesser than 4.3, is true statement. B2 is false because A is not e is A is not equal to B, and we evaluate if A is equal to B, and it's a false statement. B3 is false because we evaluate if A is not equal to B, which give us a value of true. So that's the result. So this is an example of a Boolean type wherein we get the value of the variable v1, v2, v3, whether it's it, it will give us a value of true or false. Using parentheses in your expression or of your conditional statement. So 
When you assign a Boolean variable, use parentheses to make it easy to read your code. Even if your code runs correctly without parentheses, parentheses are still recommended to make sure you don't get confused. Example, setting C equal to the value of A equals B. So this is now the statement. We're in Boolean C. We define C as our Boolean. And we compare now the value of A equals to B, which is 3.2 uh, and 4.0. And if you would compare the two statements, the D equals the expression is more preferred style with the use of the parenthesis compared to the first one. Why? Because um, it's com for the reader or for the one reading the code, it's a bit confusing because... Um, we do not uh, because of uh, there is no parenthesis that is uh, applied to the, to the expression so for readability purposes such that whatever is inside of the parenthesis will be read out first before it will be assigned to variable d then we will make use of parenthesis again the purpose of it is to make your code more readable and easy to understand Comparisons of strings. The following operators compare strings. So the syntax are a, this is a variable, a is a variable, uh, defined also as a string variable. Okay, to make use, to make this uh, command of functional or erroneous free. a dot equals b, that means a equals b, a dot compared to b if it's a greater lesser than zero a comes before b in java's version of alphabetical order so a is greater than b so that's the meaning of a comes uh, before b in java's version of alphabetical order a dot compared to b equals zero that is a meaning is a equals to b and a dot compared to b is greater than zero zero uh, a comes after B in Java's version of alphabetical order. Java's version of alphabetical order, uppercase letters come from, I uh, come before lowercase letter, meaning uh, uppercase letter do have higher value compared to that of the small lowercase letter alphabet order in Java's version. So that's comparison of strings. Sample of comparisons of strings. So we declare two variable here a and we initialize the value hello in our a variable B also do have same value which is hello, but they have different uh, variable declaration separately the um, declared So we have boolean r equals a that equals b. So this is a string comparison um we cannot make use of the double equal symbol because that's for integer comparison. So when we compare string, we are going to use these operators, the dot equals operator. So we have um, a. This is comparable. Uh, if you would look at in the in our declaration, this is the syntax of the boolean type. Where in this kind of command is comparable to the statement if this equals object return true if it's true in it. And then it returns false if it is false. So you have a that equals b. And we compare now the value of our a if it's equals to b. And the value will be placed to r. Is a equal to b? So r, r, and then calling now the percent b. This is a format specifier. Again, we encounter again another format specifier. And the value of our r, which is if uh, the result of a is equals to b which is uh, true so let us try to run the program r equals true because a is equals to b another example here is the use of substring wherein we are going to evaluate and compare the value of our b which is a substring of a from looking from index 0 to 3 3 minus 1 which is 2 so <clears throat> getting the value of our substring a so our a value is robert and we're going to get a substring so we will start it with index zero and our index zero is r and we will stop on the uh, location three or index three which is zero one two three but we will not include um three because the syntax will be 
three uh volume minus one so that would just only be up to rob so we have our value of a dot substring zero to three is rob the three letter word and then we're going to compare now the b value so what's our b you can see here in our variable declaration that's declared as a string, which is a substring of A from index 0 to 3. And that will give us a value of rub. And it is compared now to the value rub. But I think this one will generate a false statement. So, And then the value will then uh, store to R. So R will only... Uh, give us answer true or false. So let us see the result. False. If you can observe our value of B, if we're going to display B, that will give us a value of Rob. And Rob is equivalent to Rob. But what makes it erroneous it's because we make use of this operator and this operator would only be used for integer comparison so if it's an integer comparison it will read out this thing as an integer and that's why we have an answer of false which is supposed to be it should be true so we will change it into b dot equals And our string value if it's equals to and then we will place now this value to our value here and then let's um, try to execute the program now we have a value of true because this time it reads out now the value of it recognizes now that B is a string and it's compared to a string value also, which is rub. That's why it gives us a value of true. While the one that we have a while ago using the double equal symbol, which is just used for comparing integer, it gives us a false value because it compares now the value of B, the integer value of B to that of the integer value of the sentence rub. So that's why it gives us a false answer. So that is, this is an example of substring and uh, emphasizing now the use of that equals when you compare a string and a Boolean example of a string comparison. We have another example. Um, take a look of our two variables, A and B. A is defined as hello, and B is also defined as same word, but take a look with the first letter. So it's a capital letter. The, the B, B word that we defined is a capital letter hello, and uh, A is a small letter hello. So we compare now A that equals B, and it will be stored to R. And the result for this is, let us see it false why is it false because java is case sensitive this one is different from the lowercase or the uppercase is it's not comparable to a lowercase okay so java is a case sensitive therefore it will only recognize that's a true statement if both statement if both word is all small letter and they also have same uh, lowercase or uppercase so this one if i will change this to h if we will change this to a to h that would make the statement into true all right 